Hello, thanks for joining me today in another program of Painting with Tali Zoology on Canvas. These are special programs that I've put together because they have to do with putting focus on the species of animals which are in danger on our planet. One of them is a beautiful cat, the most probably one of the most beautiful cats that uh, occupies the Himalayan uh, mountains, high up in the mountaintops. Uh, this borders with certain countries such as Mongolia, uh, China, and uh, Russia. These are cats that are in danger of extinction, and we were, go we're going to do one of those today. As you can see, we did our charcoal drawing. Our charcoal drawing is on canvas board. And we sprayed it uh, with your mist and workable fixative. And on top of that, we cleaned it out, putting in your whites uh, with your normal gesso white paint. Uh, so it's already, <clears throat> it's already done. The black and white about it is done. The charo oscuro, which in Spanish would be claro oscuro, darks and lights are done. All right, now we are glazing. That's what we're going to be doing, glazing right now the color. Uh, in fact, it's a very, it's, it's just brown and white. I mean, these snow leopards are out in the mountain. And um, so what we need are just browns and whites, honey. Well, maybe a little bit of violet. Ugh. Okay, I have to be screwing this back in. Maybe a little bit of violet. No, 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 no. Let's go with the burnt sienna, okay. A little bit of burnt sienna. All right. Okay, and um, hmm, here's a lighter burnt sienna. Okay. Uh, let me. Okay, get a little tint of this. A little tint of this color that goes into the snow leopard. Oh, right, I have my model here. In fact, I have two models of them here. Uh, they tint, let me see, yes, they tint right. That's the right tint color of it. Uh, the only thing about that is that we don't have a brush big enough, so we gotta go into a bigger brush so we can get much coverage on it. Okay, so now we're getting better coverage. Beautiful, beautiful, that's how it would be. Um, we are using uh, raw umber on here. So all of it, the face and everything, the face and everything tints into a raw umber because that's the actual color that it is. It's a beautiful raw umber color. And the tail, the top of the tail has that raw umber. As you can see, what we did here was um, glaze. That's what we did. We glazed. This is glazing. Glazing is transparency. This transparency is of glazing, of course. And it has a little bit of a deeper tone about here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna keep that like that. Okay, we're gonna get our sponge, probably clean out what we need, hun. Right there, baby. Okay. Okay, clean out what we need. Clean out what we need. Okay, we cleaned out, you know, some area. So it's okay, so, you know, so, all right. Um, Let's put that back in there. Let's uh, get into a deeper tone. We're gonna need some blue, some blue and violet because we're working with a lot of snow there and snow offsets blue violet tones. Okay. I'm gonna use your trusty teeth. Okay. So here we go. Do we have to use this other brush? Uh, excuse me, I need a bigger brush here. Or, yes, this round one, it's fine. Okay, I was on the wrong brush. Don't get too much blue. Blue is very tricky. Blue goes a long way. Okay. Mixing, mixing here. 
Okay, do we have the snow? Where it? Where is it? Okay, is the snow around here? Yes, the snow is around there, baby, yes. Okay, the snow is coming around there. That is snow there, that is snow here. Uh, no, that won't be snow. Uh, yes, it is snow. Wait a minute, what was it? Was it snow? Yeah, it was snow. Uh, you know, when, when I'm designing the, the black and white picture, it's like you kind of forget when you're gonna put color. Oh yeah, what was that? What did we have there? What, what was that planning to be? Um, what was it in the original master plan in your head? Okay. And so the snow looks a little purple here. You know. You know, because I just set up studio here. I mean, all the studio, I mean, I had to, I mean, I set up studio. You know, I set up the studio, the lights, everything. This show is actually done with two people. One over there, one over here, me. And, um, and so I set up studio, and you know, um, this painting I practiced about a month ago. I am now on it, I mean, I am now on it in front of your eyes, continuing something that I had in my mind a month ago. Um, so, you know, I have to go back to my memory banks um, on, the, on this painting. Okay. I hate saying it. I'm a genius. Sorry, I'm a genius. I'm sorry. Do I have to apologize for being a genius? Oh, so what? Anyway, uh, yeah, my genius has to go back. I have to go back and figure out what was my genius doing. You know, people just don't, I mean, it's very offensive when you just, you know, when you tell people the truth. I mean, you know, if you're born with it, you know, if you have, you know, if, when you, if you're born with a blessing, you know, okay, I cannot be vulgar. I want to be vulgar so badly. You know, if you have the endowment, go get the ruler. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> and we know what we're talking about, don't we? <laughs> Nobody's going to tell us. Oh. Well, in art, anything goes, you know. And that's the problem. Okay. Okay, so we, okay, so there's like the snow and the stuff there. Hold on a second. Let's put some browns because there is going to be uh, the ground, you know, the ground, the browns about the, you know, browns. They're, they're like brown with spotted browns and whatever because they camouflage into, into the, the scene, okay? Now, the thing about these cats, the beautiful tail... They, their, their tails is extra long and fluffy. They curl, it curls up all around them like a donut. They can curl up like a little donut. And uh, that keeps them very warm for their climate area. As you can see, glazing again. Isn't that gorgeous? How this is glazing. Okay, so now. Um, so the thing about them is in the summertime, they come down from their higher spot uh, hunting for food. So sometimes they get into the peasants, uh, the farmers. Uh, they eat the farmers' cattle and, and livestock. And so that's how they start getting you know, killed and hunted. Um, uh, there was a photograph that I saw, what, which about 70 or, I don't know, 70 was it? 80, 75 of them? Snow leopard skins in the, cap in the capital of Mongolia. This was, this was a restaurant, and they had them hanging from the ceilings or something, from you know, on the walls or whatever. You know, uh, they were confiscated, but there was no sign. And this was a winning. This was a photographer from a winning photographer or something. Uh, it was a it was a photography photography book, um, and um, there was no sign around in that restaurant that is um, you know indicating or uh, educating that you know snow, snow leopards are snow leopards are an endangered species and none of that you know they just had they just had the snow leopard skins hanging in there i know when i did a show in spanish about the siberian tiger and i saw some um, of course i looked into footage about the tiger video footage uh, they would uh, burn the pelts uh, that means you know the skin that they uh, hunted down, that the poachers hunted, they would burn them. So um, 
so they won't have any value on the market. Basically, on the market, what, what, it's gonna ha what, what, what the peasants are going to get for, for killing one of these animals is just 100 bucks, just 100 bucks for, for, for that skin, which is a shame. You know, I'm also planning to do a show on the blue and yellow macaw, uh, which is being hunted, uh, not hunted, but catched, uh, to be sold in, in, you know, in places like in, around the United States or whatever, private collectors, zoos and stuff like that. Um, this is another story, another issue, but it, 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 it goes against, really, it really goes against um, the safety and protection of the, of the, of the species. And uh, they come up with excuses to, you know, cash money on that. And, but anyway, that's the blue and yellow macaw. That's going to be another show. Right now we're on the snow leopard. Let me think about everything I know about snow leopards. And, okay, now I think, I think we're, we're fine. Let me just get some texture or something, something moving along. Yes, okay, some excitement. It looks too monotonous. Oh, these mountains, baby, are brown, honey. Okay, it was, uh, um, my snow got too pink or something. Didn't really want it that way, but since I'm like with a rocket on my back making a half hour painting, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, that looks better, baby. Much better. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's dirty up, mud up the snow. Excuse me, get your trusty sponge anytime you need it. We've got 13 minutes to go. Okay. I need kind of like more blue or something. Blue, blue, blue. About it, baby. About it. The snow, yes. Let's get the snow more blue. When you have a pigment going, then you run out of the pigment tone, then you have to go pick, pick up the pigment. Painting is chaos. You have to have total control of it. Okay, okay. Let's go with a blue pigment tone. Again, we're using ultramarine blue into this honey. Then we're gonna go back with our whites to make it look normal again like snow because it's just, it's looking like I don't know what right now. Okay. Okay, okay. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Uh-huh. There was too much pink about it, which I didn't want. So now the cat, the, here we glaze again. What we're doing is glazing again. See how we're glazing again? We're glazing over that again, establishing. Now with our, with our sponge, uh, we just uh, make it more homogeneous. Homogeneous, what's that word? Uh-huh, yeah, spread it about. Okay. 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 Doing much better, baby? Yes. Um, okay, up here, honey. Okay, okay. Now, sponge it, baby. Sponge it, sponge it, sponge it, sponge it. Now that we're in the blue, now we gotta get the blue right here. That was too purple there. I didn't want that purple. Okay. Okay, looking cooler, cooler like the atmosphere and, and whatever. Um, the atmosphere is in that area of the planet. Okay, now we're going with transparency, with, with a transparency for the sky, honey. We're not going to use any whites. This is transparent pigment. This is pigment only for the sky. So what we're doing is pigment here, and we're covering, covering. Now the thing is, is that we're going to spread that pigment with our sponge. My head must be in the camera. I don't know. I can't control it right now. I'm probably getting all kinds of heads in the camera. I don't know. You know, this is one. This is done only with two people. This show. It takes. Uh, it takes genius to do this show. I'm not going to be modest about it. Took, I've been here. I've been doing this for five years. Okay. So I'm not going to be modest about it. All right. Okay. Beautiful. See. All right. Okay, okay, that's fabulous, and uh, we need some clouds breaking. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do this a little bit, yes. Yes, 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 we got, uh, what? 10 minutes, okay. Okay, we got 10 minutes, that is looking fabulous. That, uh, okay, the snow leopard needs some super highlights of white, and so white is gonna be our situation from now on. 
See, it's a very simple, simple thing to do. I mean, this cat has like yellow eyes or something, but you're not gonna hardly see him anyway. So um, let's get some yellow, put some eyes in it, baby. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, what are we doing? We're using the Utrecht. Uh, Hansa Yellow Pale from Utrecht. Okay. A special pale color, which I want to do the colors of her eyes, his eyes or whatever with. Okay, fine. So the Hansa Yellow Pale is very, very, very bright. Gonna get a little bit of coolness in it with a little bit of green tonality. Oh, yes! Oh, look at that, those beautiful eyes. They have these golden eyes. They have golden eyes that have little, um, well, they're golden, they're beautiful, okay? I forgot, I mean, it's just like, I read the, I haven't read, I haven't, I mean, the, the data that I read on it, yeah, that's what they do, that's how the eyes are. But the data that I read on it uh, was a couple, uh, was about two months ago, and, um, you know, I had to, had to come back in my head right now in the middle of the show here. Um, a little bit of, uh-huh, that's gonna be fabulous, baby, absolutely fabulous. I love it. <sighs> well, I have one of these brushes that had some green on it and it dried on it. All right. Okay, where are we? Uh-huh, hold on. The whites, the whites, okay. This, this particular snow leopard here. All right, okay, here we go back with the whites. Okay, it's too, too thick. Too thick, honey, too thick. All right. We need it thinner, thinner, thinner. Is that better, baby? Uh-huh. Okay. Is my head, I hope my head's not in the camera. I, I just have to, once in a while, remember. Okay. Okay, but see, I, the contrast, of the contrast, it's, it's just that, I have to have a contrast there. There has to be a contrast. So let's get, let's get this again, and let's get some brown, some color, some blue, I don't know what. We need a contrast here. A contrast has to happen here. A contrast has to happen there, honey. We need a contrast there. A contrast has to happen about it. A contrast has to happen, or else we're not in business in, in, in doing, in composing. A contrast has to happen here. A contrast. So let's do like a mossy, a mossy look about it. It could be the ground. Who knows? Sometimes opti optics um, can be a little bit confusing. Okay, baby. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes. Yes. Some kind of shadow or something is doing it for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, and it's also in a glazing form. All right. Okay, and you know what, you know what, you know what? Everything looks perfect when you blot it, honey. Blot it, baby, blot it, blot it, blot it. The world comes together when you blot. Okay, blot, blot, blot. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Okay, fine. Um, okay, we are back into the whites. Okay, we're messing around with whites because that thing needs white. How much, we got six, six minutes. Okay. Okay, 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 has a little bit of white down here. A little bit of white there. Okay, 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 it's really cute. Okay, where else do you have white? Uh -huh. Let's put a little bit of white there. Oh, the nose is red, very, very, very red. So we have this certain spot, we have a certain, <laughs> we got this color here, we had to go back. Okay, get some brown, make some red, uh-huh. All right, so the nose is kind of red. Oh, yes, okay, blot it out, blot it out. Okay, fine, wonderful. Back to white, 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 white. Back to white, yes, 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 yes. Okay, back to white, we have, okay, still six, uh, five, five minutes or something, okay. Back to white here, white, white, white. White on the snow leopard, fine, fine. Now, super white, super, super white on, okay, super white, uh, white up, white up, okay, we're whiting up. This, um, you know, when you're hearing Tali saying all these weird words, whiting up, 
You know, this is what we call plastic language. It's like mouse, window, Yahoo. That is computer language, which I do not like. I mean, I don't even want to bother, I don't even want to bother with it. I mean, I'll have other people just bother, it for, bother with it for me. I, I'm, I'm not going to. Um, you know, because, I mean, I mean, I guess I should, but I don't, you know? I mean, I, I know a little bit, but not too much, okay? I mean, like, some people are such into it. I mean, you know, now I'm getting a little more relaxed. Okay. Uh, hold on, baby. Hold on, honey. Okay, it, this thing just seems like, you know, you need some contrast. This thing needs some contrast. Ugh, we're gooping it, gooping it, baby, gooping it. Um, it just needs some contrast or something. Yeah, it needs some contrast or something around here. Yes, it cannot be all one flat color. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, yes, some contrast, some contrast. Yes, 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 uh-huh. Some contrast. Yes, baby, yes. Actually, it's very simple to do this now, but it doesn't have, like, you know, like, like such, um, you know, incredible, it doesn't have, a, like, it's not so, so, so colorful. It's just basically uh, a few colors about it. Uh-huh. And then the, the chest. Yes, the chest. The chest needs a lot of it. Now, okay, the whiskers about here. Uh-huh. Oh, the ears have a little bit of white doing that, and some of the blue filtered in uh, on our head there. Am I getting in the way of the camera? Probably. Probably getting in the way of the camera. Um, okay, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, we have three minutes. Brighten up again on the eyes. Yeah, blot, blot, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What else about the snow leopard? I, for, I mean, what else can I say about the snow leopard? Yeah, um, there are not too many left, so. So, oh, it's a cat. Oh, the snow leopard has small ears. It's very adapted to the snow uh, because the small ears doesn't get frostbite. It has big paws, so it wants to sink into the snow. Um, Another thing that I found out about it is um, it doesn't roar or something. It, it doesn't make noise. It's silent, very silent. And it's like very much between the big cats and the house cat because it's like a medium little, it's a medium sized leopard. And so it's just like the link between our domestic cat and. Um, our, um, how much minutes do we have? We have two minutes. Domestic cat and uh, our larger ferocious cats. Um, so I think they're uh, actually harmless to, to, to men, to people, to human beings. I never heard of a, a snow leopard attacking a, or killing a man. Or, you know, they're, not man, they're not killers of men. So um, they're just sweet little, they're just sweet, sweet, sweet cats. Very, you know, they have the right to live. And that's why I decided to do this one today. Um, hmm. That's not so bad. Wait a minute. It's time for that deep voice. You know, every time I do one of these shows, you always think that this is my natural character, but it's just a way of myself marketing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's so funny every time I get drunk. Well, I usually don't get drunk. I don't like to. Um, but I get really butch and I want to arm wrestle everybody in the joint. <laughs> <laughs> Am I relaxing because I think most of it is done? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, now what I wanted to do is make some clouds that kind of peek out through the mountains. Yes. You know, you know, out there in the high, high mountains, there are these, these clouds that kind of smoke out. From what I remember of mountains and that documentation in my mind from mountains. You know, sometimes when I'm observing nature, like a butterfly or something, or just looking up at something. Everybody's like, what's he looking at? And everybody looks, at, looks up to see, what the, what is he looking at, you know? Um, people just don't know what's, what's around them. 
You know, they think, you know, I, they think I'm, on, I'm, I'm, a, I'm on drugs or something, you know? But I'm not. I'm just, just an artist. An artist. Just an artist. Must be in the camera again, baby. Now, what do we have? 15 seconds, honey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 15 seconds, sweetie. Okay. Just a very blue, just a very blue tint there, sweetie. Yes. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Okay. Just, okay, I gotta go. I have to go. All right. All right, all right, all right, okay, 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 baby, all right, yeah, okay. Now, melt it down, melt it down. I think we're doing fine. I'm procrastinating here. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta sign this. Gotta get out, you know, T-A, it's already been signed in charcoal, but we're going over in paint. And remember, darlings, it's only going to be me and you and the canvas and all you wonderful people out there in the suburbs. After this picture, we'll make a new picture and another picture. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMills. This is Tolly signing off. I'd like to thank Monks for their professional service and support in our downtown community, located at 47 East Gay Street. Thank you again, Graphic Dimensions, for your donation of frames. Thank you, Koenor, for your donation of professional art materials, distributors of Grombacher products. I'd like to thank G. Michaels Italian American Bistro and Bar for their community support in the downtown area, located at 595 South 3rd Street in German Village.
Hi, and thanks for joining me today in another program of Painting with Tali, your art collection. Today we're going to do a beautiful landmark in San Francisco, which is called Union Square. And there is this lovely uh, column, a Corinthian column, with this beautiful statue that is kind of in one, posing in just one, one foot, lovely. And it, it's so beautiful. It commemorates a naval battle, I think, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. It's a naval situation, and that's why she has the fork of Neptune and the victorious uh, um, laurel, reef of laurels for the heroes or the men or and women probably that had to do with this naval. I think it, it was like it was. I'm not sure if it's a battle or a monument to the people who who died in naval wars but it's in, it's in the center of union square and it's so so lovely and i was out there photographing it and i thought that you know it would so i made sure when i photographed it i wanted the center of the corinthium and that's what i wanted to capture so that when i do uh, my final drawing here so I'm trying to kind of get like little crevices and things going about it, you know? Because Corinthians, they're so intricate that from far, they just look like a bunch of curly hair. <laughs> okay, but from close, they have a lot of, you know, a lot of um, detailing. And I just want to make sure I get this here. Yeah. So a lot of times while you are using your dry brush, you can soften lines that you didn't want them to be so strong. Like, for example, the lines around this, the areas here of the Corinthium or, or over here or here on the ball, that she's standing on a ball. Yeah, or on the dress, that is very flowing. Or whatever you want, you can also erase what you don't want. Right here, we don't want this, because that's her foot's right there. So, and it, let's just taper a little bit here, okay. All right, so there we go. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to be spraying it. I hope my camera person, because right today I have a camera person, Tina. And um, I hope she's not going to get, into, uh, like, coughing. Um, I'm used to this torture, but she may not be. But let's continue um, with our... So now that, it's, now that it's sprayed, we're going to continue uh, with putting some color onto it, OK? Uh, so I remember I, well, I, the last painting I did of San, the last painting I did, a San Francisco theme, was the Palace of Fine Art. And I did the background with a blue, kind of blue-violet. It was like turquoise. Yeah, blue-violet at the bottom, going turquoise, at, uh, going turquoise higher up. Okay, so let's get one of these. All right. So what I do is I make kind of like a mixture of the blue, the turquoise, and the violet. Okay. So I make the mixture, and these are little doves. The thing about this is that you've got to make sure they, I mean, this spray, I didn't put enough, I mean, I don't know if I, you got to make sure it has enough spray on there. Okay. Before you kind of like go into glazing. 
So I kind of test. All right. Kind of test it here. Beautiful. Yeah. Now I want it more cleaner. Okay, that's perfect. And we can do the rest of it. Uh, this this was a mixture that I was going to use for the sky, but it looked uh, the right tone for the pillar for the Corinthian here, for the column, actually. It's not a pillar, it's a column. We've got 18, 18 minutes. So that's going to work just fine for me. OK. We're going to kind of. Okay. Okay. Um, see, see right now, they're kind of like the edges are. That's all right. You could always clean them off. And the rest of it. Okay. The pillar is more reddish. We need some reddish brown in it. A little bit of brown on the tint. We got to glaze some brown in there. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's doing it. I mean the tone that I need. Now on this drawing, I didn't put the highlight whites that will transparent through, that will reveal through when you do these glazes, these transparent glazes. I'm going at it a different way. I'm putting the highlight whites at the end. Because right now, what I'm trying to do is get the form, the physical form and color established of this element. OK? OK, and that's going to do it just fine like that. Actually, I'm seeing it right now. And uh, when I see it in person here, um, it may look like I'm not too happy with what I'm seeing. But actually, on video, it looks just beautiful. On video, it looks absolutely fabulous. All right. So I'm going to go with her with the statue. The statue, well, actually, the statue has a turquoise about it and brown because it's bronze. OK? So it's a transparency that I'm trying to achieve here. You know, she's supposed to be on a dainty little foot here, not a big stump. OK? All right. And she's here's Neptune's scepter that she's holding. You know, I was thinking Oh, then when the earthquake came, and this, you know, this has been standing this for so long, it didn't, you know, nothing happened to it, thank God. So that's, that's quite incredible. You know, that, uh, this, this city has so many beautiful buildings and monuments it's, that it would be a shame if it was like Atlantis, you know. Has, you know how Atlantis, uh, they say, it had a pyramid in the center, and, and by coincidence, 
um, San Francisco also has a pyramid in the center of the city. Okay, we're leaving it like that for now. We're just leaving it like that for now, and we are going to work the background. Okay? So, okay. We're going to work the background, and you see that really, really, really bright blue? Has to be smudged. Really bright blue. Okay. Okay, and what I'm looking for is that that yellow pink light of the evening. Yeah, I'm really looking for that. So I gotta get some yellow. And the fuchsia, the acroviolet, actually. So is that the right one? Oh, no, 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 I, that, that, that was dirty. I gotta get an, another one. Okay. Do we have, that's dirty, that, that's, that, that's dirty. That yellow is not that clean, no, no. Yeah, this is cleaner. This yellow is cleaner. Okay. Okay. More of an, okay, more of an orange. Let's, uh, I need more of an orange, I need more of a pink. I just don't have time to screw it. I just don't have time to screw these things. I mean, I, I, need, I need somebody just to screw these things after I open them, you know? I hate it. That's what I hate. This, this is what I hate most about doing this show. Okay. Uh, is that better? Um, yeah, a little better. Okay. Um, what is happening at the very, 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 very top is some kind of pink. Uh-huh. But it doesn't look like the pink you want. You know, it's not cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, up there, Okay, that's that's the basic. Okay, that's gonna be the basic. Um, that's gonna be basic right now for it. That's the foundation. Now, after the foundation, we are going to make the blacks. The black. Uh, we need some brown for the blacks. We're gonna make the blacks. The shadowing. Then after the shadowing, we make the highlights. The super lights.
Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. More brown. More purple. Okay. I have the wrong brush, sweetie. Need another brush. Okay. Now we're cooking. You never know, you're, you're never sure of what brush is gonna really work. You gotta try it. Okay. So what we're doing here is marking well. We got eight minutes. So we're marking well. Okay. Bring that down, bring that down. Messed it up. Okay. So we're marking well everything about the monument. Okay. 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 We know these these we're, we're going to do that little leaves on it. the details about it and we're demarking the pitchfork. I hope my head's on them. I hope my head. Uh, Tina, tell me when my head's, uh, somebody tell me when I'm blocking. Okay. Because um, I, I never know when I'm like, the head's in the camera, so. Okay, this is darker. Oh, and while we're on it right now, we um, need to get in these doves, these doves, these pigeons. Okay. Okay. Okay, these are little pigeons that are here. And here are some little cute little pigeons here too. They're right there at that little corner. So they're always flocking around here. Let's get some definition of the monument, of the Corinthian in itself. They're so elaborate, you know. OK. It's optical, baby. It is really, really optical. Painting is an optical thing. 
It's an optical thing, sweetie, an optical thing. So don't, what, what you, you don't worry about if it's not coming out like, um, like perfect, you know? No, you don't worry about it. Painting is a language, is a language that you interpret. It's a visual language, language. Like, for ex it's a visual language, for example, it's like mimicking what your eye is seeing, like mimicking a, a language that you don't know. Like, I don't speak Chinese, but I can probably mimic Chinese. You know, shi 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 Okay, that's mimicking. So, my eyes are seeing, my eyes are seeing this, you know, this, that light, you know, light is upon this. This is what my eyes are seeing, and, and then, my eyes are mimicking what they're seeing. So it's quite all right. Okay? And I gotta get some gesso here. <sighs> you know, when you're painting and you have to transport everything to a studio, it's a. And you have to transport everything to a studio, it's a bitch! You know, because it's open heart surgery. And then suddenly, you know, you have to do open heart surgery with a wrench. Okay. So I need some black, but a little spatch. I need some white out of the out of, out, of, out of the jar. And then you have to put it here. And, and and you know, you need a little thingamabiggy to put it on there. And you don't have the thingamabiggy right now. I hate that. Okay. Um, so now we're going with whites. You know, I don't have a zoom on the camera. And so that's why, I mean, this is from some far away. So I'm looking at this tiny little photograph that I took. Okay. What do I have? Two minutes. Okay, you need some turquoise. Where is the turquoise? Okay, turquoise. Uh, so she needs some turquoise about her dress and up there, yeah. So here are the whites coming in. Now we're not glazing anymore here. We are painting. So this is paint. Okay, we are painting now. So, yeah, and there's a little bit of that there. Okay, okay, see, we're mimicking what we need. Okay, now back to some kind of brown paint. Some kind of brown paint, sweetie. Uh-huh. For this. Okay, for this. Oh, no. Higher light of white. Excuse me. Higher light of white, yes. Ah, uh, and then right there. Okay, I just saw something I need to interpret around here. Okay, see this? This part about it? That had to come out. That had to be seen. In fact, it has to be seen even more. So we put even more white, even more white. Okay, okay, smudged it, smudged it down, smudged it down, getting what I want, okay. Um, and then more brown, more brown about here, brown about there, about, about there and there. Um, and actually, actually here, but we need it more brown. Okay. And we need it to come down. Okay. Okay. And up here it needs to be cleaned. Uh-huh. So that's what we're getting that. I'm a complete mess. Okay. Okay, so that's happening there. Okay, the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter is colliding with Mars right now. It's always that way when I'm on a roll. Um, but, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something about that sky. My brush just fell to the floor because I'm using this little tiny little tray table for this stuff. God gives bread to whom has no teeth. Okay. Okay. Um, white. All right. Okay, that's going to be it for today. Uh, so, 
join me for another program. I hope I didn't get paint on myself. Uh, this is Tali signing off. And remember, it's going to be me, the canvas, the cameras, and all you wonderful people out in the suburbs. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. I'd like to thank the people at Utrecht for their donation of professional art colors, manufacturing acrylic paint since 1957. Thank you, Graphic Dimensions, for your generous support of Painting with Tali, your art collection, with quality frames for fine art. I'd like to thank Monks for their professional service and support in our downtown community located at 47 East Gay Street. I'd like to thank the people at Utrecht, manufacturers of fine art materials, located here in Columbus at 612 North High Street. Hi. I'm going to be having an exhibition on my paintings. For those of you interested in attending, call the following number on your screen for an invitation.